What up, motherfuckers? Mr. Matt up in this bitch coming at you pre recorded. Today, we're doing a PS Vita hack tutorial. If you find yourself with a PS Vita that is on a lower firmware than 3.60, you have the ability. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. Let's see if it'll power up. There we go. You now have the ability to uh, hack your shit. So, all right. <clears throat> so, we're gonna see the, uh, what firmware this one is on. So, we're gonna go to settings. Start. So yeah, you can hack this uh, PS Vita now. Um, so you could play uh, your own games without having the game in the system uh, itself. So that, that'll save you on cartridge wear and whatnot. Um, system software 206, okay. So that's good, that means what we need to do now, we'll find the uh, update file for 3.6. Oh, it, it has to be 3.6 oh only. You got to update to that before you can do the exploit that does this. So, first things first, you're going to want to Google QCMA. Uh, you're going to download this setup file. Open it up. You're going to get this folder right here. QCMA, right? Uh, you're also going to want to download the firmware, the 3.6 oh firmware only because that's the only one you can use for this uh, exploit. You're going to get this file, PSV update updates.pub. You're also going to need this one file here, PSP2-update list, and it's an XML file. Uh, you're going to need that to run this program. So once you got QCMA, you can go ahead and take your Vita with the USB cable, plug this in into your shit like so. Plug this into here, into your laptop or computer, whatever. You're going to go to the QCMA folder, not the installer folder. You're going to go uh, just launch it. It'll show up in your little taskbar thing down here. It'll say connected to Heimer's uh, PS Vita. So you're gonna go right here. What you're gonna do is go to settings because that's gonna show you where to keep your update files. So go to documents, PSV updates, right? So we're gonna go to our documents folder right here. If you could see PSV updates, it's gonna be empty obviously because you don't have anything in it right now. So what you do is uh, you go to your firmware file, copy it over, do your PSV updates uh, file, the PSP2 update list XML file, transfer that over, copy, right? So now that you have these two files in your PSV updates folder, in your documents folder, you're gonna rename this. So you're gonna rename this to PSP2 update.pup. Update with no E, remember that, right? So now, start up the Vita. I'm gonna go into settings, start them up. Remember, it's plugged into the laptop. Uh, put on flight mode, just in case you don't want you don't want to be connected to any internet or anything like that right now, right? Uh, remember, this is on 2.06. Go to system update. Go to update by connect to a PC. Connecting to a PC. It's going to show you that the new system software 3.60, which is the one we want, is available. We'll do that, and it'll start to update to your firmware. Remember, you cannot downgrade. So if you're 3.61 or higher, you cannot do this exploit. Don't let anybody tell you differently as of this recording date. Things may change in the future. Highly doubt that. But we'll see. You never know. Motherfucker surprise you. All right. As you can see, it read the file. And now you just, you know, do whatever your thing is. Uh, hit accept. Update the system software. Do not power off the system during blah, blah, blah. You know, obviously, don't do that. Hit update, it's downloading from your computer. And then it says after the download is complete, PS Vita system will restart automatically and then install the new system software. All right, it's installing the system software, the 3.60 firmware. Do not power the system off, common knowledge. Don't break your shit. Uh, it'll automatically restart to complete the update once the 20 five seconds are over with so go ahead and uh wait for that this tutorial is mostly for myself because i forget how to do shit after the initial time i do it and i got like four ps vitas and sometimes i want to hack shit for friends and whatnot so this is for my reference so if you find this to be like a boring video give it a thumbs down if you want i don't care it's whatever it's really just for me but if you find this useful go ahead and give that video a thumbs up uh, and like and share with your friends and whatnot it's all good all right so restarting and we'll just all right it's updating the database let's make sure you follow these instructions verbatim all right so go to settings start it up and guess what we are on system 
Version 3.60. Oh, hey, now we could do our fucking exploit, right? The Henkaku uh, exploit. So go ahead and take this out of flight mode. Uh, just do not go to update at all. And then we're going to type in our network. I'm going to tether from my iPhone here. Um, just because I can, I guess. I don't know. My iPhone is jailbroken. And I don't want to use my own regular shit. So I'm doing my personal hotspot. Um, turn that bitch on. Uh huh. All right. Uh, password is Jamie loves cock, cause that's Jamie's I uh, Vita, and I think he loves cock to be honest. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Wi-Fi settings. Right, we're gonna go to iPhone. Uh, Jamie loves cock. Hit enter. Should be connecting. Connecting. Cool. All right. So now for the exploit, right? You go to the uh, close out of here. We're going to go to the browser, 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 browser. And all you have to do, watch this, so easy. It's ridiculously easy. Um, hen, K-A-K-U dot X, Y, Z. Simple. It'll take you to that website. And once you're on here, that's it. You hit install and it fucking does its thing. You're about to avoid the warranty, blah, blah, blah. You got an old shit that you haven't played in forever. Doesn't matter if you avoid the warranty at all. So here we go. We're installing Henkaku. And here we are. Molecule. That's going to be, I believe this is the FTP server. Um, I don't know what the hell it says. Downloading, downloading, downloading. So this is downloading all the little exploits and shit. Should be good after this installs. Installing the package. Hey, so what does that say? It was successfully installed, right? So now that we're here, we're gonna have this thing called molecule shell, molecular shell. You are officially jailbroken. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess jailbroken, whatever. Your, your shit is hacked on 3.60 now. So uh, if you're gonna notice, you see uh, home safe mode, you're gonna wanna get out of that shit. Hit start, uh, go to un, Enable unsafe homebrew, hit X. It's gonna say this is gonna destroy your PS Vita. Ignore that, uh, it won't do that. Uh, back up out of there and hit um, this to restart the thing again. So go back up in there, now you are in unsafe mode. Oh my God, so unsafe. All right, so from here, uh, you could see that the UX0 uh, directory is your memory card. Uh, you could head up into there you're gonna see all your shit right you can create a um, folder from here if you want uh, hit triangle then hit um, uh, it doesn't matter actually we could do this on the FTP client so I'm gonna hit back uh, hit select to get the FTP client it says right here FTP server is now running at 192.168.1.121 whatever it might be different for your shit so we're gonna go to our FTP shit here and go to that specific address 192.168.1.121 port is elite 1337 quick connect and you are now connected to your Vita as you can see right here same shit so we're gonna go over here to UXO UX0 that's your memory card you go down here you can create a directory you want to create the directory called Wait for it, VPK, because that's the uh, package, uh, Vita package installers, I guess, I don't know what the fuck, but that's that. So get into this folder, right? All right, then you're gonna want to, uh, I downloaded uh, Vitamin 2.0, as you can see from right here, Vitamin 2.0, that's the one that apparently works. Uh, just go ahead and drag that into your VPK folder. Damn, you're all good, right? Now we can cancel out of this fucking, uh, thing here so we exit the FTP server on the Vita hit enter on UXO or X I mean uh, go down to your newly created VPK uh, folder hit enter or X go down to vitamin 2.0 VPK if you can see right here if this stops auto whatevering uh, hit X and it's going to install this package it's gonna give you 
probably a little warning where it says package requests extended permissions it will have access to your personal information your nudes uh, and uh, your social security number if you do not obtain it from a trusted source please proceed at your own caution would you like to continue to install of course you, you took those nudes for a reason you wanted everybody to see your little dingling right right all right so it's installing this shit and all right once you're out of there you can close out close out close out hit the fucking ps button Cause this shit, and then we go to vitamin. Bam, it's on your fucking home screen, you got vitamin. I'm gonna take this uh, Assassin's Creed game, pop it in here. So it's gonna install, it says morphine. So that's, I guess, cool. Go to vitamin, start it up. Choose game, Assassin's Creed, Liberation, hit X, dump full game, store, ultra fast, why not? See what it says. Injecting morphine, installing app database, blah, blah, blah. It's going to open the manual of your game in another application. Minimize the new application, then go back to this game. Do not click OK or close a newly opened application. Press X to continue. So it's going to pop off into here. So you go back to the um, vitamin and hit continue. It should start dumping the fucking game. It'll do this a few times, I think. Um, but now it's dumping the game. Finally, it's happened to me. Um, told L to turn off the display. Nah, you don't really want to turn off the display. Um, just let it do its thing. It's going to take a million years to uh, copy. Because for whatever reason, it just takes a long time. So we're going to leave this shit plugged in. Just so the battery doesn't die out or anything crazy. Plug this shit in. And uh, let it do its thing. I will pause it here. And when it's done dumping, it's done dumping. Uh, all right, this motherfucking dumped successfully. Um, just press X to exit, and we are done. All right, so um, I ran into a bit of a technical difficulty uh, using Molecular Shell, uh, trying to install the um, the ripped or dumped game. Um, I don't know if it was because the game itself was uh, corrupted, the file was corrupted, or just uh, problems using Molecular Shell. Uh, I just noticed when I tried to install it, it got stuck at zero, uh, and it wouldn't go past that uh, when I hit cancel uh, It would just freeze the whole shit. So I would have to uh, re, -en re Enable the hack um, by jailbreaking it again. So I decided uh, I'm gonna use the offline installer So that way I'm not constantly connecting to the Henkaku website because I don't know I just don't like constantly having to connect to shit plus if my internet's down or something I'm gonna need this anyways if the PS uh, P or PS Vita gets turned off or you know for any reason rebooted you're gonna have to re-enable the hack so it's like a, a semi-tethered uh jailbreak kind of thing uh, i also installed vita shell uh 1.51 which is like an updated version of molecular shell i guess or more compatible i don't know but it seems like it works a lot better i also redumped uh the assassin's creed game um with vitamin 2.0 uh because i guess seems like if you let the display go to sleep or if you know the power saving settings you know fall asleep it somehow corrupts the vpk file anyway doesn't matter we're gonna try to reinstall this um vpk file from vita shell vita shell whatever the fuck um so we're gonna go to the uxo folder go to the vitamin this is the fresh dump and you know decrypted uh shit here uh so as you see right here I'm going to press X. Do you want to install this package? Yes. Okay, so like I said, the other one didn't get past this screen. Uh, it just, okay, see now this one is saying something else. Package requires blah, blah, blah. It's going to send your nudes to the internet, etc., etc. Would you like to continue? Well, of course. So as long as it gets past um, 0%, pretty much in, in the clear. So we're in the clear right now. I'll check in when it's closer to 99 or 100% and uh, we'll, we'll start it right back off from there. All right, so we're at about 99% right now. Um, and it's done installing. Cool, right? All right, so now we go back and we're going to see if the install actually worked. Exit out of here, swipe away. And as you can see, we got Ace uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation uh, jumping around on the um, home screen. That's the newly installed bubble. This is the actual game. Uh, just to show you that there is no, nothing in the system itself. Um, let me show you the port here. So as you can see, this is where the game would go. Um, if it was, um, on your shit, right? If it, if it was actually, here, see? But, uh, it's still jumping around. 
no game in the thing so we're gonna launch it just to see if the VPK install correctly so I'll hit start and we'll see what uh, pops off if all goes well the game should just launch see like this um, before it was telling me okay before it was telling me uh, no I don't want location data uh, before it was just telling me uh, that the file was corrupt or something like that or it, gave me, it threw some error message at me it was like C dash C1 dash blah 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 whatever and it didn't work so I had to like I said redump the game um, making sure that the system didn't turn off while I was dumping it using vitamin 2.0 I don't know if that's like a thing or not uh, apparently it is I, I have no idea so here we go story mode I mean it, it doesn't really matter uh, it's for, it's working so that's all that you need to know the game is right here like I said um, there is no game in the there's no game in the console itself so it's running strictly off the uh, memory card so that's pretty cool right 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 because now you could dump your entire uh, library to your memory card assuming you have enough space uh, the only downside to this uh, system is since the memory card is proprietary, you're going to have to uh, FTP back and forth into your uh, computer, I mean, into your Vita from your computer to add or remove games. Uh, and then you do have to install them, you know, over and over uh, every time you do that. So try to get a bigger memory card. Uh, it kind of sucks, though. The biggest memory card I think available is like 64 gigs. And it is fucking ridiculously expensive. Something like a hundred, probably the cost of the Vita itself, like 150 bucks, 120 bucks. I don't know. But at the very least, this is a 16 gig card. Um, it should uh, hold up quite a few games. I mean, you're not gonna play all the games. Probably, it'd be nice if you could. It'd be nice if you could use like an SD card instead of the proprietary technology that they use. But um, I mean, such is life, I, I guess. So yeah. Um, to recap, uh, got this thing hacked. Uh, try to use v Vita Shell, Vita Shell, I don't know what it's called. You could easily Google Vita Shell, Vitamin, Henkaku, Offline Installer, all of these files that you need. Um, and uh, you can install them using the uh, VPK install method. And that's it. Uh, you have officially hacked your PS Vita and uh, dump and decrypted uh, your game and uh, installed it onto your home screen, uh, into your memory card, and now you are hopefully playing your dumped game without actually using the cartridge uh, and, you know, destroying it in some fashion. I don't know. These are probably, you know, good, but still, why not just preserve them for the hell of it? And plus, you can have all your shit instead of having to constantly switch out cartridges, which is a pain in the ass. And, you know, it's 2017. We should be able to just do our thing, and that's it. But anyways, um, thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, uh, thumbs it up. If not, thumbs it down. I don't give a shit. Uh, like I said, it's mostly for me because I be forgetting how to do these hacks. And then I got to like fucking research all this shit. But it's a lot easier. If it's me telling me, me from the past, telling me from the future um, how to do the shit. So um, that's it. Peace out. Got a quick little update for you. Uh, and this should uh, end all your FTP woes. Uh, because apparently with Vita Shell... Uh, you can launch this, and it's, when you hit select to do the FTP server, like Molecular Shell, you actually don't have to use FTP. You could just plug in your USB cord straight into your computer, and uh, when you hit select, it'll actually mount it, if you can see, as a hard drive, which is fucking awesome, because uh, FTP is pretty slow, and this is a lot faster. So as you can see, it's the same layout. Let's say you go to Vitamin. You now have your file uh, right there, which you can put onto, you know, copy over. So this is the one that didn't work earlier. That was a corrupted file image or whatever. Uh, let's see if this uh, transfers quicker. Because the other shit took at least like an hour or some shit. Maybe more, I don't know. So now I'm assuming that since this is USB, it should transfer at, yeah, like 10 megabytes per second, which is amazing. That's so much better. Definitely use Vita Shell as opposed to Molecular Shell. It's faster, more compatible it seems, and just, I guess, all in all better. Four minutes to transfer, that's way better than the hour or whatever it took over FTP. Even with a, uh, you know, a fast connection or whatever, just for some reason, it's slow as shit. So that's about it. Again, thank you for watching. Peace.